can't wait for Chad. Chad will be coming later. Your Excellencies, the mandate entrusted to me by the 18th Assembly of the OAU, Heads of State and Government, in respect of a Pan-African peacekeeping force in Chad can continues to be implemented. We are meeting today to address ourselves to the whole range of problems with which Chad is confronted and to work out lasting solutions. Our assembly here is one in a series of meetings since the Lagos Accord of 1979, which itself symbolized courageous effort by the OAU to find an African solution to the many difficulties facing our sister state of Chad. Your presence here now is a manifestation of our firm re resolve to continue in this work until the people of Chad are fully able to determine their own destiny. This standing committee must continue with its effort until it is satisfied that it has found permanent solutions which will assure for Chad a future rooted in hope, prosperity, and progress. I was mandated in June last year to establish a Pan-African peacekeeping force in Chad. Thereafter, elaborate consultations were conducted I, and I can now report that three contingents of the Pan-African Peacekeeping Force are already in, in place. As of now, Nigeria, Senegal, and Zaire have their forces in Chad. While arrangements are underway for Benin, Togo, and Kini, to join and reinforce the units already on the ground. In order to provide an effective and efficient operation, it was decided that the Pan-African Peacekeeping Force should be assisted by an observer group. Accordingly, after consultations with the Transitional National Union government 
of Chad, Algeria, Congo, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Kenya, and Zambia were requested to send troops to constitute the observer group. They agreed readily, and troops from Guinea-Bissau, Kenya, and Zambia are already there. Algeria, Congo, and Gabon are preparing to get their observer units to Chad. I would like to take this opportunity to express on behalf of this committee and on behalf of our organization our deep gratitude to the six countries which responded so readily to the request for peacekeeping troops to serve in Chad. As chairman of OAU, I am particularly grateful to Nigeria, Senegal, and Zaire, who in spite of great financial <coughs> operational difficulties, sent troops to Chad within the time scale laid down. We thank them for the great sacrifice they have made in the name of Africa. They continue to bear, largely unaided, the enormous costs involved in the maintenance of their troops in Chad, as well as the cost of transport, communication, and other logistical support. My thanks also go to the six countries which readily agreed to send observer troops to Chad, namely Zambia, Guinea-Bissau, Algeria, Congo, Gabon, and Kenya. Observer troops from Zambia, Guinea-Bissau, and Kenya are already in Chad, and we are grateful to those countries for the great job their troops are already doing on the ground. It is my hope that similar troops from Algeria, Congo, and Gabon will soon travel to Chad to join their colleagues already on duty there. Finally, I would like to thank Zimbabwe for its Thank you. 